Hello and welcome back to the Simple Shoemaking Project and today's the exciting day. <laughs> going to try these shoes on. So going to need to get the lasts out. Now the probably the professional way of doing this will be to have what's called a lasting pin which is like a, a rod of metal and you'd put it in the hole there. You'd put the lasting pin in a vise unless you actually have a proper full lasting jack and then you can break the last by bending it and extract it. Now this is simple shoemaking so we don't have sophistication like that. It did occur to me I could use a drill bit of the right side size uh, in an engineer's vise and get it off that way and that would do the shop quite well. But I'm wanting to keep this really accessible and simple to everyone. So a screwdriver. I think it will just about do it if I put it in here and the spring on the last is quite heavy but it's not insane and it's not like it's such a tight fit. It's not all being pulled really hard. So I think we might get some joy at that. So I'll put them on the bench Put the camera down and we'll have a go. <laughs> right, this is the exciting bit because are these shoes going to fit? Anyway, I'm going to try and break this last without breaking the screwdriver. I think that's probably going to break or bend that screwdriver. So I have my ram's head poker that I made in an earlier video and I think we'll try this. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Fair bit of force, but not insane. And there we are, the last is out, so I can try this shoe on. <laughs> Exciting times. Right, let's get this one out if we can. Yeah, brilliant. And again, that's out. So you can actually bend these back. Ooh, ready for next use. It's quite a kick on them. Anyway, that's great. They're back in. So we have two shoes. Now, I need to make some in socks for these. So, um, because at the moment there's nothing obviously inside. Unfortunately, I don't think the nails come through looking at that, which is good. Uh, yeah, so I need to make some insoles. I have got some cork and I've got a bit of canvas. So I think I can probably make something with that. A bit shorter materials. Right, so let's try these on first without the insoles. I'm just going to pop the laces back in. Might as well do this properly. <laughs> oh, I like this, it's the exciting bit. You've done all this work and you can now see whether or not any of this is going to fit. Right, number one. Does it fit? Let's have a look. Got nice thick woolen socks on today, but it's blooming cold. Oh yes, yep. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's good, that's good. Yep, very happy with that. Get the other one on. All right, the other one, let's have a look. Yep, that feels all right. Hey, yeah, look at that. Just standing up now, having a quick... Yeah, no, they're good, they're good. Yeah, I mean, they fit absolutely fine and perfect. If I'm so critical, there's... How much toe room is there? A fair bit of toe room, I'd say, in those. And I think the way I've designed them as well, they've obviously... It, I've taken a, like a gents, I think, more formal last. And then made a more casual kind of shoe. So they do look a bit longer, but they certainly fit. And they feel nice actually, they, the heel height feels right relative to the soles. So all that toe spring stuff in heel heights has definitely worked. <laughs> well, there you are. Very pleased with that. So in socks, going to make the in socks next. And I've got a bit of cork sheet here. Now I hope this isn't too thick, it's four millimeter. I wanted something uh, sort of softish. So I've got a couple of paper templates. In fact, one of them was the last bottom pattern and I just popped that inside the shoe and it looked a pretty perfect fit. So I'm going to use that as the template for the sock. 
I should probably cut it a bit so closer rather than anything I'm going to cover these. Uh, my bit of cork is the tiniest bit too short but I can easily glue super glue on a bit extra at the end of the toe there. Then consider covering them in some black canvas. So that's the plan. We'll see what happens. This canvas is yet another little off cut from the coracle making. Now, if you haven't seen the video on making a coracle, I thoroughly recommend you do. Uh, it's great fun. We made a couple of basket boats and we floated them on a local sort of little lake. So well worth great fun, that video. Do take a look at it. It's one of my favorite along with making a chair in a day. So have a look at making a coracle or two coracles, a couple of videos on it. You can cut the cork out using scissors. I'm using my serrated base leather scissors here. It's cutting very easily. So I've got a couple of cork insoles there. I've just tried one in the shoe and it feels absolutely fine. So I'm going to carry on. I had to put a little extension toe piece on, but that's all okay. So I'm just going to mark round. I'm using one of these silver marking pens. So I'm just going to put some shoe Aquilum 315 adhesive down on here and stick the canvas to the cork. The advantage of this also is it should stop the canvas from fraying because it's going to effectively bind the edges, which is quite useful. That's the sock liners in the shoes. Yeah, those sock liners are really good. They give a bit of cushioning as you walk and it fits nice and snug. Not tight, but snug. That's really good. One thing I haven't done yet was I was going to just do a bit of stitching around the back of the heel. So I'm just going to do that and then they will be finished. So I'm just doing the final bit of sewing around the back of the heel here. So I've been anchoring this um, heel reinforcer stiffener at a few different points. So it's glued and it's got quite a lot of <laughs> sewing points as well. So that will stop it doing anything. Well, here are the finished shoes. All nice treads on. So very pleased with these. Turned out very well. Fits extremely good. So interesting trying some using some factory made lasts, certainly a success overall, certainly one I'd like to repeat. Just to say, you really do not need many tools to make these shoes, it really is basic, a few hand tools, you know, it's cutting out knife, skiving knife, stitching chisel, scratch all, um, oh, hammer, you know, not many tools, probably 10 tools, something like that, and you can make a pair of shoes like this. So. Worth having a think about if you want to have a go at shoemaking and been wondering about it. It's a good way of getting in first time round. So anyway, I did it second time round. That's, hey, that's me, isn't it? <laughs> a bit nuts at times. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the series and thanks so much for watching. And well, who knows what's next? We'll see. <laughs> that's the fun of life, isn't it? Okay, bye-bye.